Matthew Stuckey here, and I wanted to make another video on traits of psychopaths, and the trait I'm talking about in this video is impulsivity. When it comes to the lifestyle characteristics of being a psychopath, we looked at a need for stimulation or proneness to being bored, number one. Number two, a parasitic lifestyle, being a parasite. Number three, a lack of realistic long-term goals. But number four, being very impulsive, basically just you know going off emotion and making decisions without thinking it out. They just quickly are making decisions in life. And you know, of course, this goes along with the other lifestyle characteristics. And so what it says from the website on impulsivity about psychopaths, Psychopaths respond to things according to the way they feel. They don't spend time thinking about the potential risks and benefits of their choices. Instead, they want immediate gratification. So they may quit a job, end a relationship, move to a new city, or buy a new car on a whim. When it comes to psychopaths, they make these big decisions and they don't even think about it. They would just quit their job out of nowhere without thinking about it, without having a job lined up as a backup just they make an emotional decision out of nowhere, they could end a relationship. They're dating someone for six months and they just decide, eh, you know, I'm bored and just not even think about it. Move to a new city. Just move somewhere without a job, without a plan, and just move without thinking about it. Or buying a house or a car on a whim, obviously that would be a foolish decision because that's a very expensive thing, but they just make these big decisions without thinking about it. This is very common when you look at serial killers. Uh, serial killers, you know, usually most of the people they kill are just random people and they just saw an opportunity and they took it. And so it's not that they were planning it out at a specific location. They're just kind of going along and then all of a sudden, boom, they see an opportunity to kill someone and they just do it on a whim without thinking about it. Or people that are serial rapists, that are psychopaths, they will just attack anyone that comes in their path and basically they see an opportunity, they decide to take it, and just you know a minute later, boom, and a couple minutes before that, they weren't even thinking about doing that, but they're always looking for those opportunities to cause harm. And the question is, does this fit with the Bible? The answer to that is yes. Genesis 19 is, of course, the famous story of Sodom and Gomorrah. And I want you to realize that the people in Sodom and Gomorrah, they were not aware of these two angels that were going to end up coming into town. It was something they weren't expecting, but it comes up out of nowhere, and they're immediately ready to harm these angels, which they believe are men. So it says that, uh, verse 1, And there came two angels of Sodom at even, and Lot sat in the gate of Sodom. And Lot, seeing them, rose up to meet them, and he bowed himself with his face toward the ground. And he said, Behold now, my lords, turn in, I pray you, into your servant's house, and tarry all night, and wash your feet. And you shall rise up early, and go on your ways. And they said, Nay, but we will abide in the street all night. Lot is emphasizing this because he knows it's a dangerous place to be on the street. Verse 3, And he pressed upon them greatly, and they turned in onto him, and entered into his house, and he made them a feast, and did bake unleavened bread, and they did eat. The Bible does not tell us how much time goes by, but this is not a major amount of time that goes by. Then in first, verse 4, Before these men go to sleep, but before they lay down, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, compass the house round, both old and young, all the people from every quarter, and they called unto Lot and said unto them, Where are the men which came into thee this night? Bring them out unto us, that we may know them. Not saying, you know, shake their hands and know them, but molest them, harm them. So what you're seeing in this story is that these two angels come into town, and this is not expected, and somehow these sodomites find out about it, and they end up rounding up all of the sodomites. Look, this is before the days of the cell phone or Facebook where you can send out a message to 50 people and they can just immediately be ready. You know, they had to go literally door to door to say, hey, here's an opportunity to molest these men. Let's go for it. And they're able to round up everybody. They're just immediately springing into action, not thinking about anything and just saying, hey, this is what I emotionally desire. Let's go for it. This is psychopaths. They're very impulsive. They don't think about their actions. They do major things without actually thinking about them. Judges 19, we see something very similar. It's the other very famous chapter on sodomites. And what we see in that chapter is something very, very similar. This man comes into town with his concubine and he's looking for a place to stay. And then all of a sudden the sodomites of the area find out about it and then they go on to harm this man. And it says in verse 22, Now as they were making their hearts merry, behold, the men of the city, certain sons of Belial, beset the house round about and beat at the door and spake to the master of the house, the old man saying, Bring forth a man that came to thine house that we may know him. Once again, not knowing like shaking hands, but they want to harm this man. What ends up happening is his concubine ends up getting uh, raped and murdered by these men 
um, as opposed to him, which shows that they have no problem going after women as well, and they're not safe. But what you're seeing is these psychopaths are very impulsive. They make a major decision without thinking about it. They see the opportunity and they go in to strike. And see, what we need to understand is that you need to be careful with your life and yourself because these kinds of people, when they see an opportunity, they're immediately gonna go for it. It's not something they plan out and think about. They will immediately go off emotion and go for something. You need to be very careful. This is especially true with women. Women need to be very careful of the places they go and where they are because if they put themselves in a bad situation, and you have somebody who's a reprobate, they might choose to attack that person. You know, even as a guy, it's 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 really not a smart thing. It's not a safe thing to be out at, you know, one in the morning in a dark alley. You do not know what's gonna happen, and you need to be very careful, you know, both men and women, but especially with children. And many children are attacked, and it might be something where the pedophile was not like planning it out for you know hours and hours, but just saw an opportunity and boom, which means we need to be very careful with our kids not to let them out of our sight. Make sure we're, we're, we're closely protecting them, especially when they're very young and vulnerable and when they're not able to defend themselves. Because what you need to understand is that psychopaths are very impulsive. They will strike off emotion out of nowhere and you know what? If you don't protect yourself, you could end up being the victim. And so when it comes to psychopaths, the world says one of the 20 traits is they're very impulsive. They make major decisions without thinking about it. The question is, does that line up with the Bible? And I think we just saw that, yes, it does. It does line up with the Bible. Anyways, thank you and God bless.